All right, guys, so they're not always going to give you that um, original picture, so we have to be able to do that from scratch. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw my first number, so two and one half. I need two whole boxes, and I need another half, so I'm going to draw a whole box, and then we'll cut it. So I have two full boxes, and this one I need to cut into two pieces, so I'm actually going to cut them all into two pieces just so I can see them all in the same format. And again, it says I have two, so there's a whole box. There's a second whole box, and I only have half of this one, so one out of the two pieces. All right, so now remember we need to see what we are dividing by. So we're dividing by 3 fourths. So I'm going to look at that bottom number, 4. I need to make sure that all of these are cut into 4 pieces. So how am I going to do that? Again, 1 half is the same thing if I multiply by 2 as 2 fourths. So if I cut these all in half, each of my boxes in half, now I'm getting 4 boxes in each of my holes. So now really I have this whole box, this whole box, and then one, two out of my one, two, three, four pieces. Then I go back to the number I'm dividing by, and this number on top is what I am grouping them by. So this time I'm putting them in groups of three pieces. So when I look at my um, picture, I need to group this in one, two, three pieces. So there is one group. One, two, three pieces. I can take it from one box and attach it to the next box. There's my second group. One, two, three pieces. There's my third group. And one, two, three pieces. Unfortunately, this last group is not full. If I look, I've only got one out of my one, two, three pieces. So to write your fraction, remember you take how many you have, one, out of how many you needed. I needed three, so one, out of three. So my final answer is three, because I had three whole groups, and one-third because of that one-third of my last group.